Um, the next question is, <clears throat> uh, what is expected of Muslims other than our prayers and charity towards the people of Gaza? Akhi, we don't have only the people of Gaza. We have calamities all over the world. But Gaza stands out because the injustice is so crystal clear that even the blind could see it. Even the disbelievers would join hands with us and saying that this is unfair, this is injustice. What's the point of a veto for the third time and the 36th time in the history of the United Nation against the Palestinians? What is the message that you are siding by peace lovers, democracy, human rights, all this baloney? No, this is a lot of BS. And the masks have been removed. We know who the enemy is. So yes, as individuals, what can we do? Nothing except to do dua and to financially help in all means that we can because a penny matters and if you look at the way we spend our wealth lavishly wallahi when we die nothing is going to help us in our graves we won't be able to put a bulb light <laughs> Yeah, can I have some light? No, it's dark, it's lonely, it's cold. But whatever you give, it's gonna be stored for you there. The Prophet says, alayhi salam, in a very beautiful hadith, al-mar'u fi dhilli sadaqatihi yawm al-qiyamah. On the day of judgment, each one of you will be in the shade of his charity. The narrator of this hadith, he says, Wallahi, not a single day passed, except I would give in charity, even if it's an apple, if it's a, a donut, if it's anything, I just have to give something in charity every single day. So we can do this, dua. And don't think that dua is something that is, okay, um, I'll make um, 30 seconds dua, and that's it. I've done my due diligence to Palestine, khalas. What else do you want? No, you have to do dua in every sujood in between Adhan and Iqama, in the last third of the night, when the rooster calls, when it's raining, when this, when... Uh, do select the times of answering your dua. And at the same time, you have to give. Thirdly, you have to share their plight with the whole world to see these atrocities, to know who our real enemies are. Those who are, are siding by Israel are our enemies. We don't have to you know, be rocket scientists to know this. And this is what they're trying for us not to abide and by and to believe. We are Muslims. We're, we don't have nationalities. We don't have borders. One brother in the east of the world is being tortured and killed. He's my brother. One brother in the West is suffering. He's my brother. They don't want us to do this. No, they want they to segregate us, to separate us, to feel that I am from this nationality. I'm from that nationality. We're different. We're better. No, we're not. Every time someone tells me about my ethnicity, where are you originally from? I said, um, Alhamdulillah, my lineage is very prestigious and high. And I, I boast about that all the time. My great-great-grandfather is a, is a prophet. He's Adam. <laughs> so what's the point? Who are you? Nothing. It doesn't matter what document you carry. What matters is what's in your heart, what you do, what you say, how you believe, how you feel towards your brothers. So in a nutshell, you can't do anything but to be peaceful. But be vocal. And according to the Quran and Sunnah, don't exceed your limits. Share with the whole world their plight. And may Allah Azza wa make this our jihad for their cause.